take a moment and let's connect to uh, the two powers. So close your eyes. If you're sitting, make yourself comfortable. If you're standing, uh, you know, get comfortable. And picture yourself as a tree, sitting here or standing here uh, in our houses. What we're going to do is we're going to reach down to the waters of chaos and reach up to the uh, light of order. So we're gonna reach down and grow our roots down through the floors, through the basements and crawl spaces and all that's beneath our houses. We're going to push our roots down into the soils beneath our houses and down deeper and deeper into the earth, around the rocks. And we are in search of the waters deep beneath us. As we go down further, the soil gets moist. We follow that moisture down further and deeper into the soil to at last we find the pools of water deep beneath the earth. And we're gonna now suck that water in through our roots, all the way up through the ground and through the basements and cellars of our houses up through the floors and into our feet. Suck those waters up into our legs, into our loins. Bring them up into our bellies, into our chests. Feel the waters coming up and flowing through your head and through your hands, spilling back onto the ground. And feel these waters of chaos moving through us, these cool, cold waters of pure, raw energy. And now, go reach up into the sky with our arms, arms becoming branches, up through the ceiling and through the roof, up into the sky where there's that one light directly above head. And we reach up to that light and we go and grab it and we pull it down into our branches. Pull it down into our arms and into our heads. Pull it down into our chest, into our bellies. Pull it down into our loins, down through the feet. And see ourselves glowing with this light from above and this water from below mixing within us. The powers of order from the light and chaos from the water, mixing and mingling, filling us with all this raw energy. The water coming up, and the light coming down. Take a moment, feel this energy coursing through you. Then push down to the ground, any excess water, push up into the sky, any excess light. Bring yourself back to neutral energy, back to where you feel good. And bring your roots back up and bring your branches back in. Feel yourself become yourself once more. And when you're ready, take a deep breath and open your eyes. And Victoria says, I can't see you. Please let me know if you're back. I'm back. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for checking. <laughs> First, we honor the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us, support us. You who come out of your slumber amazingly quick this year, although late. You have turned green and are starting to produce the first fruits of the spring, the berries, the rhubarb. We call on you, Earth Mother, to support us in this rite. And to you, we make this offering. Earth Mother, accept our offering. We are here 
to honor the gods. We are here to make offerings to the gods, to the ancestors, to the land spirits, and we are here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let us recreate the cosmos. Mighty well, waters that connect us to the ancestors, waters of the deep. To you, we offer this silver and ask, sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires, you that connect us to the upper worlds, that takes, transforms, and sends it through smoke to the gods above. We offer to you and ask sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, you that connects us from the wells and waters below to the fires and heavens above. You are the path between all the worlds. We offer to you and ask sacred tree grow within us. By the mights of the waters, the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the lights of the fire, this grove By is made fire, whole and holy. This grove is made whole and holy. And holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, the this grove is made whole grove and is made holy. And may these fires, these waters, this tree, and the purifications we have just done be connected to all those who are present and hallow their own space. And now we call on the gatekeepers. Mighty gatekeepers, you of all the cultures within ADF, you who open the ways between the worlds, you who bring our messages far and wide and bring back to us the messages we need to hear. You who guard us and watch over us as we walk your holy ways. We call to you tonight to aid us as you have so many times before. Gatekeepers all, accept this offer. Now, not just here, but in every location, gatekeeper, join your magic with mine. And let the well open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the fire open as a gate to the upper worlds. And let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to the spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Shining ones, you look over each and every one of us, gods and goddesses of elder days, our own patrons, our own matrons, those in each and every one of our homes, those that we know and those that are unknown. To all of you, shining ones, accept our offerings. Land spirits, all of you of fur and feather, scale and skin, leaf and flower, twig and stem, seen, and unseen, the elves, the fae, the dwarfs, and all of those 
wonderful unseen land spirits that surround us. To all of you, of each and every home, land spirits, accept our offerings. And ancestors, those of our blood, our family that have come before us, those of our friends that have passed on way too soon, and those of each and every one's land. Uh, the bones that are in the soil beneath our own properties. To all of you, ancestors, accept our offerings. At this point, if you have offerings you wish to make to the ancestors, the land spirits, the shining ones, or any being that is calling to you, please make your offerings now. And we can do this en masse or one at a time, whichever works for you. I'd like to make an offering to Fre uh, Freya and to Frigga. And I make it now. Hail. Hail. Are there any other offerings to be made? Wow, that's a little carbonated. <laughs> <laughs> to the mighty kindred, to you all. I call one more time. Are there any other offerings to be made? Okay. My kindred all, to all we have offered to, to all who are within our hearts and within our homes, to you, we make this one last offering. And with this, we ask, kindred us all, accept our sacrifice. We now ask, mighty kindred, what blessings do we receive? First, from the Shining Ones, we receive Awas, mm -hmm. the horse, travel, but spiritual travel. From the Land Spirits, we receive Yera, the Wheel of the Year, Cycles, Harvest. From the ancestors, <laughs> from the ancestors, we receive Perth, <laughs> the dice cup, games and chance. <sighs> so we are given spiritual travel in cycles and chance. I think the ancestors are saying, take a chance. Take a chance. And the kindred are saying, you know, let's, let's do more spiritual work, more spiritual journey work. And the, 
the chance will very likely work out in the end. Do we accept these omens? Yes. Yes. All right then. Ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you and in good gusty tradition, a gift calls for a gift. We ask that you fill these waters with Awas, with Yera, with Perthra. May we have the spiritual journeys throughout the next cycle and may they lead us to good fortunes. Fill these waters and fill the waters of all those who are watching with these omens. Behold the waters of life. And please feel free to drink your waters. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Blueberry Canadian whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Are there any workings that we need to do this evening? No, I don't have one. All right, then. Then let us thank all those who have aided us tonight. Ancestors, all of you who play such a role within our lives, we thank you for coming. Ancestors, we thank you. Land spirits, especially the couple I have in this house that decided to sleep instead of join me. Uh, for all of you that have joined us and aided us, land spirits, we thank you. We thank you, Helen. Thank you. And shining ones, all of you that look over each and every one of us, look over our houses, our family, and our lives, shining ones, we thank you for coming and aiding us. Shining ones, we thank you. Thank you. And gatekeepers all, you have once again opened the ways and aided us and guided us. You sent our offerings out far and wide and you brought back these lovely blessings in return. For all that you have done for us throughout the years and for all you have done for us within this rite. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Hail and thanks. Now. Once more, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine. And let's not burn myself on the incense. <laughs> Wells become but water once more. Let the fires become but flames once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed, and may they be closed not only here, but in all our homes. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us, you aid us, you feed us. For all that you do for us, and for your upholding of this right. Earth Mother, we love you. And Earth Mother, we thank you. Thank you. Alan, thanks. And in proper Ian Corrigan tradition, go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for the right has ended. <laughs>